The itchy eyes, runny nose, and sneezing, they're all signs that point to one thing, allergies. And Kayla Key knows all too well what it's like. The last couple of weeks for me, though, have been tough. Been on a lot of antihistamines and um, taking a lot of hot showers just to trying to help break up some of it. Suffering from severe allergies since she was 13, Key has received every type of treatment to help ease the symptoms, even surgery. But like clockwork every year, right around this time, Key's symptoms flare up because of the cedar. You can definitely feel when it's coming. I used to have constant sore throats and sinus infections and polyps and you name it. Ear, nose, and throat physician Stephen Wright with St. Joseph Central Texas ENT says unlike years past, the cedar count right now is off the charts, and he attributes a lot of it to our weather. We've had more rainfall than ever before, which is just leading up to just a, it's going to be a crazy allergy season for spring coming in. We're already seeing cedar counts just through the roof. It's not just causing problems for severe patients like Key, but even for those that hardly suffer from allergies at all. All of a sudden, they're really suffering and getting a good feel for what the people who have the seasonal and just the bad year-round allergies. The best way to treat your allergies is with over-the-counter antihistamine medicine like Allegra or Zyrtec, but if those don't do the trick, your best bet may be to see a doctor before infection sets in. Treating those things, um, kind of nip it in the bud, so to speak, is way, way easier than getting into a, you know, two, three, four-week drawn-out thing. In the Brazos Valley, Lauren Holman reporting.